Good day, class. Before we start our discussion for this day, may we please put ourselves in the presence of the Lord through a prayer that will be done by watching this video clip. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day you have given us. Lord, please add love and care to each and everyone. Subtract all the hatred and negativities around us. Multiply your good news and mercy on us. And divide your unending blessings to each of us. Please grant us the Holy Spirit to guide us our class today. All of this we pray in the name of your Son and our Savior, Jesus. Amen. Once again, good morning class. Our lesson for today is all about inscribed angles and intercepted arcs. And our objectives for this day is for you class to be able to illustrate inscribed angles and intercepted arcs on a circle and for you to be able to formulate and solve problems involving inscribed angles and intercepted arcs on a circle. And lastly, for you to be able to derive inductively the relations among chords, arcs, and inscribed angles. Before discussing our main topic for this day, let us first have a recap or review of our previous topic. And we will have it through a group activity. And this group activity is called Chain Notes. So, how are we going to do this, sir? Well, since I said that it is a group activity, I will group this class into two. The one sitting on this side will be our group one. And the one sitting on this side will be our group two. Is that okay? Alright. Since we already have our group, I will give each group a sheet of paper which has the word circle written in its uppermost part. And you will write on the paper a word, phrase, or sentence associated with the word circle. The learner whom I gave the paper will start writing. After that, he or she will pass the paper on the other member of the group and the same process will be observed until all the group members had written in the paper. You will choose one representative to present your output. Is that okay? Okay, let's start the group activity. You did an amazing work, class. All the words, phrases, and sentences that you wrote on the sheet of paper are all connected or associated on the word circle. Your work is indeed amazing. Do you want more? All right, let's have another group activity. And this time, it is called Inscribe Me. Since I said that it is again a group activity, you will maintain the same group. And each group will do the following procedures. First, on a cartolina or old calendar, you are to draw a circle whose radius is 5 inches. Mark the center and label it C. Second, extend the radius to form a diameter of 10 inches. Mark and label the endpoints of the diameter with M and T. Third, on the semicircle, mark and label three points. You label the first point O, the second point U, and the last point N. Fourth, draw three different angles whose vertices are O, U, and N respectively, and whose sides contain M and T. 
and then you are to find the measure of each of the following angles using a protractor. First is to find the measure of angle MOT. Second is to find the measure of angle MUT. And third is to find the measure of angle MNT. That's all. Do you have any questions, class? Since it seems like you don't have questions, you may now proceed with your activity. Anyway, the instruction or the procedure is on the board. You may just look at it. And later, if you think you need to ask me, don't hesitate to come and ask me. And so, you may now start working class. You did great class. Now, what can you say about the measures of the angles? Yes, Nizel? All right. The measure of all the angles are 90 degrees. Now, what statements can you make about an inscribed angle intercepting a semicircle? Yes, Cairo? Very good. Since angle MOT, angle MUT, and angle MNT measures 90 degrees, we can say that if an inscribed angle of a circle intercepts a semicircle, then the angle is a right angle. How about this? How would you compare the measures of inscribed angles intercepting the same arc? Yes, Erica? Nice answer! The measures of inscribed angles intercepting the same arc are congruent. So, this activity allows you to determine the measures of an inscribed angle that intercepts a semicircle. In the next activity, you will find out how inscribed angles are illustrated in real-life situations. This activity is called one, two, three, say, cheese. This is again a group activity and you are to maintain the same group. I will present a situation and you will answer several questions. The situation is Janelle works for a realtor. One of her jobs is to take a photographs of houses that are for sale. She took a photograph of a house two months ago using a camera lens with 80 degrees field of view. And she has returned to the house to update the photo. But she has forgotten her lens. Now, she only has a telephone lens with a 40 degrees field of view. The questions are first. From what location or locations could Janelle take a photograph of the house with the telephoto lens so that the entire house still fills the width of the picture? Use an illustration to show your answer. Second, what mathematics concept would you apply to show the exact location of the photographer? Third, if you were the photographer, what would you do to make that the entire house is captured by the camera? Alright, do you have any questions, class? Okay, since you don't have questions, you may now start working. How did you find the preceding activities? Are you ready to learn about the relations among arcs and inscribed angles of a circle? I am sure you are. From the activity done, you were able to find out how inscribed angles are used in real life situations. But how does the concept of inscribed angles of a circle facilitate finding solutions to real life problems and making decisions? You will find this out through the activities. But before doing these activities, let us first discuss some important notes regarding inscribed angles and intercepted arcs. 
So let us now define an inscribed angle. An inscribed angle is an angle whose vertex is on a circle and whose sides contain chords of the circle. The arc that lies in the interior of an inscribed angle has endpoints on the angle is called the intercepted arc of the angle. Let us have these following figures as an example. In figure 1, angle LAP is an inscribed angle and its intercepted arc is arc LP. The center of the circle is in the interior of the angle. While in figure 2, angle TOP is an inscribed angle and its intercepted arc is arc TP. One side of the angle is the diameter of the circle. In the third figure, angle CGM is an inscribed angle and its intercepted arc is arc CM. The center of the circle is in the exterior of the angle. Since you already know what inscribed angle and intercepted arc is, let's now move on the theorems of inscribed angles. The first theorem is if an angle is inscribed in a circle, then the measure of the angle equals one half the measure of its intercepted arc or the measure of the intercepted arc is twice the measure of the inscribed angle. Let's have the figure 1 in our theorems as an example. In this figure, angle ACT is an inscribed angle and arc AT is its intercepted arc. So if the measure of arc AT is equal to 120, then the measure of angle ACT is equal to 60. The second theorem is if two inscribed angles of a circle or congruent circle intercept congruent arc, then the angles are congruent. Let's have this figure 2 in our theorems as an example. In this figure, Angle PIO and angle PLO intercept arc PO. Since angle PIO and angle PLO intercept the same arc, the two angles then are congruent. In figure 3, angle SIM and angle ELP intercept arc SM and arc EP respectively. If arc SM is congruent to arc EP, then angle SIM is congruent to angle ELP. The third theorem is if an inscribed angle of a circle intercepts a semicircle, then the angle is a right angle. In figure 4, angle NPE intercepts arc NSE. If arc NSE is a semicircle, then angle NPE is a right angle. Our last theorem is if a quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle, then its opposite angles are supplementary. In figure 5, quadrilateral DREA is inscribed in circle M. The measure of angle RDA plus the measure of angle REA is equal to 180. While the measure of angle DRA plus the measure of angle DAE is also equal to 180. Because our theorem says that if a quadrilateral is inscribed in a circle, then its opposite angles are supplementary. And we all know that when angles are supplementary, it means that the sum of those two angles is equal to 180. So those are the theorems that you need to know about inscribed angles. Now. Do you have questions? Clarifications? 
Since you don't have questions and clarifications, let us have an activity. The activity that you are going to do is a graphic organizer. You will make a graphic organizer of your own choice. It means that you can make a matrix, a fishbowl map, bubble map, or any other graphic organizer of your own choice as long as you can summarize your understanding of the different theorems of inscribed angles and to familiarize yourselves of those theorems, which will help you in solving problems involving inscribed angles. The graphic organizers that you will make should be made creatively and should be presentable. So that's what you're going to do. Did you got it? All right, start working. I like that. Good going. Now, let us have another activity. This activity is called Think, Pair, Repair. In this activity, I will pose a problem and you will answer it individually. After that, you will discuss your answer with your pair or setmate if you got the same answer. If you did not have the same answer, you will scan your answers and brainstorm on what should be the answer. Then you will present your answer in class. And we will check the answers you presented with my guidance. If someone did not have the right answer, we will repair or look back and check on where you made a mistake. Of course, I will guide you in doing it. So I will now present to you the problem that you will answer. This is our figure for our problem. It is our circle F. And in circle F, segment AB, segment BC, segment CD, segment BD, and segment AC are chords. Use the figure and the given information to answer the following questions. The first question is, which angles are congruent? Second question, if the measure of angle CBD is equal to 54, what is the measure of arc CD? Third and last question, if the measure of arc AB is equal to 96, what is the measure of angle ACB? And that is what you are going to do. Do you have questions? Because you don't have questions, you may now start your activity. Wow! You did great class! This time, let us have an exercise. This exercise is called Draw Me and you will see how am I inscribed. In this exercise, you will perform the procedures that I will tell you and you will answer every question that follows. So the first thing that you are going to do is use a compass to draw a circle. Mark and label the center of the circle as point E. Then, draw a diameter of the circle. Label the endpoints as D and W. After that, from the center of the circle, draw radius EL. And using a protractor, answer these questions. What is the measure of angle LEW? How about the degree measure of arc LW? Why? After that, draw angle LDW by connecting L and D with a line segment. And again, using a protractor, answer this question. What is the measure of angle LDW? Now, you can see that angle LDW is an inscribed angle. Now, how do you describe an inscribed angle? So those are the things that you will do. Do you have questions? Since you don't have questions, you may now start working.
anyway, the procedures are on the board. You may just look at it. And later, if you have problems, just approach me. With that, you may now start doing your exercise. That's good. I'm happy to see you working like that. Now, let us have a short quiz. I will give you a quiz paper and please read the instructions carefully. Good luck! That's really nice! It is a pleasure to teach when you work like that. Now, I am going to give your homework. This homework is called, How Special is the Event? In this homework, you are to make a design of a stage where a special event will be held. Include in the design some circular objects that illustrate the use of inscribed angles and arcs of a circle. Explain how you applied your knowledge of inscribed angles and intercepted arcs of a circle in preparing the design. Then, formulate and solve problems out of this design that you made. Do you have questions? Since you don't have questions, you may now copy your homework. You certainly did well today, class. I am so proud of you. So, let's call it a day. See you tomorrow, class. Bye-bye.